All right, welcome to my new flat tour of 2023 here living in London. Me and Nora, the person behind the camera, have been living in the same house for the last five and a half, six years or so. So we're very, very happy with this change. It's finally gone to the point where we've got all the furniture in place. I think it looks lovely and I'm really excited to show you around. So let's go. immediately a much bigger entrance than you probably remember from the old place if you've been watching the videos for some time right over here in the entrance hallway we've just got some storage closets over here right now we've got a lot of random kind of knickknacks and things that we don't want out and about in the house boxes a drying rack for laundry and all kinds of stuff probably not that interesting so we'll close it right away on the right here we've got some paintings drawn by our mother this is our dog Kitsun dressed up as a man and this is our cat Simpson back home dressed up uh, as a lady which we think are really nice so we'll keep them in the hallway and then over here this is kind of the coat closet but it's become my coat closet because I don't have enough space in my own room it's also some storage for a few suitcases and other kind of things that we want hidden and out of the way so this is kind of the entrance area over here on the left we've got what I think looks like a really cool kind of open design shoe rack We've got mine on the left hand side and then Noor's on the right and it's almost as tall as me, which I think, which I think is kind of cool. We've got this bench over here uh, for when we're putting on our shoes and things in the morning. And of course, how can I forget this glorious, glorious floor mirror. This is something that I've wanted for a very long time. And so as soon as we moved here and we had a little bit more space, it was at the top of my list of, of things that I wanted to get. So very, very happy with it. And then the first room over here, this is my bedroom. I don't think there's too much interesting to show in here. Pretty small. There isn't a lot, a lot going on. It's basically just a bed, closet, a bedside table. You guys might have seen from the video where I moved in and unpacked my house, a little bit of my closet, but it kind of looks like this. Neatly organized, or I like to think so anyway, um, as much as I can. And there's a good amount of closet space, but just not enough for all of my jackets and things. But anyways, there's more interesting things to see, so let's move on. Hopefully you've noticed all the nice greenery in the house so far. We've got this like coconut type plant over here and we've got quite a few plants in the house. Nor takes care of most of them, to be completely honest. She does a lot of the watering and caretaking and debugging and nutrition and all of that, but I just make them look pretty and put them in the right place. We've got this snake plant here. And then this, this console, I really, really like. So over here, this is kind of like a catch-all, I think it's called. So when me and Nora come home, we just empty our pockets. We put our like wallet, car keys, earphones, badges for, for our different workplaces, etc. here. And that way we never lose them. When we come to leave the house, everything is always here. It's easy to pick up and we can go. All right, so moving on further down into the hallway, we have the guest bathroom and my bathroom over here couple of shelves on the side, my office, and then Noor's room, bedroom and office. So I guess we'll start over here. We've kind of just been keeping a lot of the books that we have in the house. This is mostly my medicine related stuff. A couple of suture kits, anatomy cards and things. And then this is Noor's, all of Noor's books and notepads and, and things like that. This is a poker set, um, which I love to use on the lovely dining table that we have inside, which I'll show you in a little bit. But. Coming around this way, you guys will probably recognize this artwork um, from the old house, from my bedroom slash office slash studio slash chill area, everything. And then this is the bathroom slash guest bathroom. Might be a little bit loud because the ventilation fan is on and stays on for quite some time. It's not too much to see here, all right? Just all of my toiletries and things over here. Hopefully neatly organized as they should be. Right. And over here, all of our important files and folders. This is how I know I'm almost 30, okay? I've got a whole array of colorful files and folders. You guys will remember a lot of these from my exam notes and revision notes throughout my years at university. But then now we have things like banking and taxes and work-related files. So I feel like I'm getting really old, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> at least Nora takes up half of this shelf. So behind this door over here, we have my office. 
This is where I would like to say that I do most of my work and spend most of my time, but truth be told, I just like taking my laptop and sitting on the couch in the living room or on the dining room table, and I just feel a little bit more open and comfortable over there. I've put up a bunch of these posters and plaques on my wall. We've got the silver YouTube subscriber plaque, and we've got the gold YouTube subscriber plaque. These are posters that I had from my time at the University of Toronto. This was a gift from Noor, actually, from Cambridge from uh, a little while ago. That's my medical school diploma. This is my GMC full registration, my license to practice medicine here in the UK. <laughs> this this is funny. This is Mishmish's favorite blanket. So I don't know if you've seen Mishmish in the background, maybe in some of the video clips, but this is where she likes to sit, as you can tell by all the unhealthy amount of hair that's sitting on there. And then this is my desk. It looks very similar to what you guys will have seen from previous kind of desk setup videos. And I go into a lot more detail about it in those videos. So if you're really interested in this kind of stuff, um, then you should check that video out. It's a standing sitting desk, which is great for when I need to study and spend long times sitting down. It's good to get a little bit of difference between that sitting and standing. And you know, massive screen, great speakers, cameras. I love it. Let's move on. Shall we do your room? Yeah, go on. Over here, we come into Nora's room, which is the master bedroom of the flat. So I'm such a nice person, I just had to give it to her. Aww. So if you remember Nora's room from the old house, the layout is extremely similar. I think if you were standing in that position in, in the old house, looking at Nora's room, you would see pretty much the exact same thing. It's just a little bit bigger in this dimension. It's a much nicer view and it's just a little bit brighter, I think. And then she's got her piano here where she's currently learning the what, what are you learning to play? Succession theme The Succession theme song, yeah, which is really, really cool. Noor has a wonderful array of very large closets here, <laughs> so it doesn't need any outdoor space uh, like I do. And then Noor's bathroom, I don't know, do you want to yeah, sure. give a little pan? Go ahead. Give them the tour. You tell them about your bathroom. All right, guys, so my bathroom, much tidier than Nasser's. Got shower, all the things you need. I'm doing an excellent job as camera woman. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no. Go on, good job. You smashed it. All right. And now the best part of the house, our favorite part where I spend the most time, the living room. Let me introduce you to everything going on here. I'm, I'm so happy with how this living room has turned out. I really love it. I think it looks very aesthetic in my own personal opinion. I feel so relaxed and comfortable when I lay down and I, and I sit here after a long shift at work, which is something I never really felt in the old apartment. So it makes me very, very happy to be here. And me and Nord talk all the time about how grateful we are and how much we, we love this apartment. So I'd love to show you around. I guess over here on the left, we can start with the dining room table. We went for a, a circular one as opposed to a long rectangular one, mostly because I didn't want a, a huge object over here blocking all of this open space. And I really like it, I'm happy with it. It's this beautiful wooden top, which means I am very anal about everyone using coasters. Uh, so all my friends who come hang out here, they know very much about how often I'm telling them to put things on coasters. And this is kind of my chill spot. So this is where I do most of my work. I mean, my laptop is here. This is where I sit down and I do my work. I've got my pen and paper, my sticky notes and things. And I just have this big open view. I can look around into the living room and feel, I don't know, more relaxed than I would if I was uh, sitting in the living, in the, in the office. This here is one of my favorite pieces of furniture. It's like a, what are these called? It's a floor lamp with like an arc that goes, the arcs, I guess, off over the dining table. I think it looks really, really cool. And it's also something I wanted for a long time, kind of like the floor mirror outside. And then if we pan around this way, we've got plants galore. It's a joint effort between me and Noor. I won't lie, Noor does most of the caretaking of the plants. So big shout out to her. And these are all supposed to be non-toxic for cats because Mish Mish likes to chew on, uh, on all the different plants that we have here. Um, but so far everything has been okay. Touch wood. Over here, we've got a little board games area for when friends come over and things, we can just see them easily, pick them out and play whatever we want. Nice big TV, a couple more plants floating down on the side. This is our favorite one. What's this one called, Noi? I think String of Pearls. String of Pearls, yeah. This is a, a big favorite. PS5, obviously. And then these are the couches. The reason this video has taken so long for me to make and put out is because this couch wasn't here. I wanted this couch to be here before I made this video. It's a huge piece of furniture that I was really looking forward to and really waiting for. Um, and I didn't want to make this house tour without it because it didn't feel complete to me. We've got this lovely coffee table over here, which matches the dining table. Um, and then this is the couch that we had in the old apartment, the one that folds out into a double bed. 
So when our parents come to visit us, when we have friends visiting from out of town, they can always sleep here. Comes out, it's a very comfortable double bed. Honestly, more comfortable than my own. So let's come around this way over here. Back looking out. Oh, I, I almost wasn't gonna talk about the car medic sign. I almost forgot about it. So this is the car medic sign from the old apartment. I didn't really find anywhere else to put it in the house. And I wish it kind of fit flush over here and that I could plug in the cable so I could turn it on but unfortunately none of those things are, are the case. But we just have it over here, kind of sitting sideways, and it's a really nice reminder of, of the old apartment, Carmatic channel, how far we've come, etc. I don't know, Nora, what do you think about it? I like it, I don't mind it. You don't mind it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a pretty, it's a pretty big object in the living room. Yeah, um, it's a shame it doesn't fit perfectly, because um, yeah. it's so close. Coming over here, we've got more plants, okay? Look, we're, we're taking care of them. They're alive, they're healthy, okay? We're doing really well. Responsible. Responsible adults. There's an air purifier and humidifier here. Because believe it or not, I'm very allergic to cats and dogs. And when we got Mishmish, Mish, our cat, she's sleeping over there, I magically was not allergic to her. When we went to visit the home from where we got her and, and I held her and I touched her and I rubbed my face, I didn't sneeze, I didn't start crying, I didn't have a runny nose, which is a miracle. It's an, the first animal I've ever interacted with that I haven't been allergic to. So she's, she's an absolute miracle of a cat. We'll go say hi to her in a bit. We've got a printer here. And then one thing I wanna show you is this robot vacuum. All right, this is from a company called Roborock. This is not a sponsorship. This is not a blah, 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 blah. This is just probably the best purchase I've ever made in my life. After my cat, obviously. Cat is, cat is the first purchase, but this robot vacuum literally just cleans the whole house by itself every day at midday. And we come home to a clean house. There's no dust. There's no like crumbs. There's no kitty litter from Mish Mish, nothing. It just automatically cleans the house. And it's like the best invention in the world. Just really, really love it. We've got a fan over here and then some of my workout equipment for when I'm working out at home, but hopefully I'm in the gym most of the time. And this over here is kind of the Mishmish -mish corner. So our cat is called Mishmish. -mish. Over here we've got infinite resupplies of the, the sticky rolls because she drops a ton of hair. We've got all of her toys in here, like combs, uh, nail clipping stuff, all of that good stuff. And then down here, so this is Mishmish's -mish litter tray, which produces zero smell. One of the biggest concerns we had when we got a cat in an apartment where it was going to be an indoor cat all the time was, you know, would everything smell? And it has been completely odor free, right? Like, yeah. like literally nothing. Speak of the devil. Mm -hmm. oh, I got you. So this is Mishmish. -mish. Okay. So Mishmish -mish means apricot in Arabic. Oh, score me. And we named her that because of her eyes. Didn't we? Yes, we did. Mishmish. -mish. <laughs> She's very, very not wanting to be cuddled. Okay, okay, okay. You can, as I was saying, we're very, very happy with the with the litter situation. We just got a little bit of grass here so that she can feel like she's outdoor, I guess, and kind of neatifies this area as the mishmish -mish area. <sighs> My God, there's a lot of hair. <laughs> Over here, we've got mishmish's -mish scratch post, which hopefully prevents her from scratching the couch, even though that's not always the case. And her little bed, and then these are her fish. All right, so we've got like, five or six little fish for her that are just laying around the house, which she loves to play with sometimes. And she kind of just moves them all over the place and they're her favorite toys. And I just love the idea that she plays with little fish. Moving along, we've got a little hammock over here for Mishmish -mish, so that she can lay down and stare out of the window and do her people watching all day. And her little cat castle, is that what these are called? Cat tree. Cat tree which I think fits the aesthetic of the, of the house really well, just kind of like brown, green with the gray. And she loves to use it, which makes us very happy because we didn't just buy it and she never uses it. I keep hitting this bird, which is her other favorite toy. And I think that brings us full circle. If we turn around in here, we've just got some more plants on the side, a little water fountain for, for Mish Mish, and then it comes back to the shelving area. And the last thing we need to do is take a look at the kitchen. So let's go there. On the way to the kitchen, we have the evil eye that my mom has very nicely placed. Well, I placed, but she bought. And keeps all the evil spirits away and all the negative energy in the house to hopefully keep us in, in good health and, and happiness and all of that. Coming in here, there's a pull-up bar that I bought the other day, which I'm very excited about. Don't know how excited Nori is about it, but... <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, very quick kitchen tour. We've got like a laundry basket where we put most of our recycling, like cardboard boxes and papers and things like that. We've got this bin with a little wave to open thing, which is a quality of life improvement that I didn't know that I needed until I had it. Little fruit basket, everything here, blah, blah, blah. This is probably my favorite kitchen appliance. I think the color is just 
beautiful, this like pastel green with the wood on a coffee machine that you'll probably remember from the old house. And then this is my favorite. This might be my favorite closet in the whole house, actually. Wow. So neat. <laughs> Excellent. Smashing it. I'm too short for this. So we've got our plates and bowls up over here. We've got our pots and pans down here on these very cool things to kind of swing out um, for easy access. Hob, toaster, coffee machine, all of our stuff. Washer dryer, dishwasher, sink, blah, blah, blah. It's just a kitchen. In our fridge, I don't think there's anything too interesting. Oh, actually, one thing I wanted to mention is Dashwater still needs to sponsor me. I, I posted a picture of you on Instagram like a couple of years ago saying sponsor me and you know, we still have to figure things out. So if you're watching, tell your people to reach out to my people. And I think that's it. That is pretty much the whole house. I might have rambled a little bit through it, so bear with me. I'll include B-roll of everything that we kind of talked about over here, give you a little bit of a better idea of how the space is used. But yeah, we've been here for a few months now and we really, we're really we really enjoying it here, right? Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a great house and I hope to stay here for a little while longer. I'm not ready to move again. The packing up and move out process was just <laughs> such a headache that I don't want to repeat for a few years, but I think that's pretty much it. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything that you would recommend or any piece of furniture or item that you think would fit in particularly well anywhere over here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.